In this video, we're going to talk about local business listings. And local business listings like Yelp.com, CitySearch.com, YellowPages.com, and Google Places all have a really big impact on the traffic that's getting sent to your local business. Because basically what they do is they feature your address, your contact info, and any customer reviews. And more and more people are using these services to find businesses while they're on the go. So because of that, it's very important that you make sure that your local business is listed with all of these services or as many as you can get out there. If somebody's using one of these services and they're searching for something, for instance, a coffee shop, and you own a coffee shop but you're not listed on any of these business listings, um, when they search for a coffee shop, your place of business isn't going to come up and they're not going to come to your store. So as you can see, it's very important that you get on as many of these listings as you can. These are targeted searches. People that are using these things are looking for specific things. And if they're searching for, like I said, a coffee shop and you own a coffee shop, that's somebody looking to get coffee right now. They're not looking you know, to do research and everything. They're looking to get to the closest coffee shop to wherever they are. But if they can't find it, you know, their attention span is going to be short and you're going to lose that customer to somebody who's made it easy to find them. Another really good feature to use as a local business is the fact that you can piggyback offers with a lot of these services. Say for instance, if somebody finds you through Yelp.com, you can offer a 20% off your first purchase coupon or something like that. And that way it entices them to come to your local business even more than just having the information accessible easily. So let me touch a little bit on Yelp.com. Yelp.com has been showing some pretty impressive numbers over the years. It says that Yelpers have called a local business every second through mobile apps. That's pretty huge right there. So they're using Yelp to find all these places and then they're calling them through the app. So as you can see, you definitely want to have your information available there because that's a lot of people using it. And then 35% of Yelp searches were from mobile apps. So over a third of the searches that Yelp reviews were from cell phones of people on the go looking for places specifically. So this is super targeted traffic on foot. So they're looking for your product or service while they're out there. And then taking that one step further, every other second a customer generates directions to a local business. They're on the go. They want this stuff. They need to find it. And you need to make the information accessible so they can generate these directions. And a photo of different things in different locations is uploaded every 30 seconds from Yelp's mobile app. So people take a picture of a business or something they got at a business or something and they'll upload it and it'll be linked to that business listing. The next thing we're going to talk about is Google Places. Google Places is a really big one because so many people are actually using Google as a search engine. It's the number one search engine out there. And what Google Places does is it puts your business online on the mobile map offered in the search results. So whenever you do a search for business or service, a lot of times a map will come up on the right hand side and it'll have all these red dots on it. And what that is, is the Google Places map. And each one of those dots is a business listing. It makes it easier for customers to interact with your website through search results because they can click on that map, find your business location, and then um, all the contact information, the website information is all listed right there. And then they can either go to your place, get directions to your place, they could go to your website or whatever it may be. But it just makes it super easy for them to actually interact with you and get the information they need about your local business. The last thing that we need to touch on are the reviews that people leave on Yelp.com, any of the Google Places reviews for any number of businesses. So you always need to be aware of what people are saying about your business. If you're getting continual negative comments from people, you need to address that. If you get a bad review, it's okay because it actually makes it seem more realistic if you have a bad one every now and again, because not everybody's gonna like you, so it is okay. But what you don't wanna do is be mean or negative about it if you reply to it. You wanna put a positive spin on it if you can at all. And then change the reviewer's opinion by making it right. Maybe offer them a coupon or a free dessert or some free service or whatever it may be. Just, you don't have to give up the farm, but maybe offer something for their trouble, something that they'll find useful, and that other people can see you offering them, and then that will be like, oh, well, wow, they're really uh, all about their customers because this guy was complaining, and they made it right. That's awesome. It's a, it's a really good thing to always just kind of be aware of what people are saying about your business on these local business listings because they are such a huge part of driving traffic to your brick-and-mortar store.